Hi, let's talk about Sydney McLaughlin Lebroni and where she stands at the moment with a prep for the US trials and for the Olympic Games um, after an injury that she last raced nearly a year ago in July and she started off slowly, ran a, a 4 by 100 meter relay at the Mount Sac uh, relays uh, early in May and uh, ran a good steady second leg there in the, for the international team uh, but you know she's been running some races outside of what we used to see her uh, we used to see her in the 400 meter hurdles and 400 meters the next uh, event was the oxy invites uh, where she ran the 100 meter hurdles in a time close to her personal best of a few years ago and uh, again the steady uh, race for her and then she also ran the 200 meters again close to her personal best it uh, was wind assisted so it's, uh, it was slightly better than a personal best legal time uh, but she was, she's been taking it slow, she's slow relative for an athlete of her quality, um, running short distances uh, and building speed and strength. Um, LA Grand Prix, she originally entered the 400 meter hurdles but dropped out of it and ran at 200, again in the personal best time of 2.07, um, beating the likes of Abby Steiner and Gabby Thomas. Um, Abby Steiner, of course, also is coming back from injury, so it's not running at uh, close, at times close to her personal best. Um, but it was a good race for uh, Sydney McLaughlin and Roni, and um, one can see her building on from here because it's only about two months before the Olympics. Huge breakthrough there. You must be very pleased about how that race went to you. Yeah, um, honestly, I would have loved to get 21.99, but I'm really happy with that. Um, just working on speed work, working on turnover, so I really can't complain with it. Mm -hmm. And like in terms of the prep, how long were you thinking about running the 400 and are you set now on just the hurdles for US trials? Honestly, I think we started the season out kind of just seeing where it went. Um, I think today's race is kind of just seeing where we are speed wise. Obviously, we're going to get into more 400 hurdles, maybe a couple open fours. But um, yeah, I think 400 hurdles is my bread and butter. It's what I'm most comfortable with. So we're going to try to get back to that. And I think we're just slowly working to that point. Mm. And your racing plans then ahead of US trials? Um, I think I'll have one or two more meets local in the US uh, just to tune up and then get ready for US trials. Mm. Did you give much thought to the Olympic double? No. No. No, I don't think so. I think, you know, that's definitely a possibility in the future. Um, but just wanting to come back, and, you know, after last season, just stick to one event and try to do it the best I can, be healthy, which we are and I'm very happy about, and just kind of keep that way. So. Can you tell me more about what the process has been like getting back from injury and how confident you're feeling? It's yeah, the great question. Um, a lot of prevention and care, a lot of the little stuff, rehabbing, making sure you're strong in the small muscles. Uh, both of my knees feel great right now, which I'm very happy about, and just trying to keep it that way and not do too much to strain myself ahead of U.S. runs. Cindy, you had a slight headwind uh, during the race. Do you think that... Oh, I did? It was a minus uh, point zero three. Oh, oh, And so th maybe that could have been the that key. That could have been what we were looking for. But it's okay. I'm not mad about it. Uh, just know that there's more to work on. And yeah, hopefully we'll get there one day. So. Has your speed ever been this good? I don't think so. I think this is the best it's been, which is really exciting. Just trying to put all those pieces together now. How do you think that if it's never been this good, how do you frame the rest of the season coming from that point and looking ahead? Uh, I think just trying to keep progressing, get faster, get stronger, get better technically. All those pieces kind of have to come together, so I'm just happy we're kind of slowly checking this out. She's focusing on speed and strength for the moment and building slowly towards the QS trials. 
and in the Olympics. And as you said, she's going to stick to her favorite, the 400 meters hurdles. And uh, I really look forward to seeing her at her best or even better.